Hi, I'm Mrs. Amodimo and this is Penny. Welcome to our video on measurement. We're going to be working on telling time to the hour and half hour today. Let's get started. All right, my friends, let's read the essential question. Let me read it the first time and you read it with me the second time. Here we go. How can you tell time to the hour and half hour? Read it with me this time. How can you tell time to the hour and half hour? All right, my friends, what's the first thing we should do? It's what we always do. Yes, you're right. What? You want me to ask Penny? Penny, what should we do? Penny says we should write an I can statement. Oh, you knew that. I'm glad you did. Let's write our I can statement. What does it start with? And what is the rule about that word I? Yes, it has to be capitalized. I can, let me hear it, C-A-N, tell, t L. Oh, I, you got it. T E L L. Time. T I M. And what letter is making this I say its name? Yes, E. Time. I can tell time. Two. Let me hear it. The. You so know this word. Hour. And remember, it's a tricky word because you don't say that H. And you know this word. Half. H-A-L-F, hour. And how do we spell that tricky word hour again? Yes, H-O-U-R. And my friends, what goes at the end of the sentence? Correct, we need a period. All right, my friends, let me read the I can statement the first time through, and then you read it with me the second time. I can tell time to the hour and half hour. Read it with me this time. I can tell time to the hour and half hour. All right, my friends, a lot of you are already nodding that you remember this from before. So we're going to review real quick how to read a clock to the hour and the half hour, and then we'll try a few on paper and see how we do. Everybody ready? Let's get started. All right, my friends, the first thing I want to ask you is how many minutes are in an hour? We were talking about this before. Do you remember? Do you remember? Penny, how many minutes are in an hour? Penny says there are 60 minutes in an hour. It's important you remember that, my friends. It's going to be one of those things you're going to have to know for the rest of your life. So put it in your brain and lock it there so you've got it. Now, let's review parts of a clock. First thing, clocks have two hands. That's what we call them. We call them the hands of the clock. This short hand is the hour hand. It's going to point at the hour. This long hand is the minute hand. It's going to point at the minutes. Now, going around the outside edge of the clock are 12 numbers. Each of these numbers, when we're looking at the minute hand, we count by fives, increments of five. So real quick with me, my friends, let's count by fives. Here we go, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And we talked about it before. Because there's 60 minutes in an hour, when we get back to the top, it switches back to the zero, zero. That's the part where we say, oh, clock, if the minute hand's pointing straight up. For the hour hand, my friends, Whatever hour it's pointing at, we say. So if you look at this clock, what time is it showing right now? The hour hand is pointing at the 10, so we're gonna say 10. The minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12, which means we're gonna say what? Yes, we're gonna say a clock. So this clock is showing 10 o'clock. Let's try another one. All right, my friends, what time does this clock say? Take a minute, think about it. And then ask yourselves two questions. Question one, what number is the hour hand? Remember the short one's the hour hand. What number is the hour hand pointing at? Yes, it's pointing at the eight. And because, qu question two, what number is the minute hand, the long one? What number is the minute hand pointing at? You're right, it's pointing at the 12. So let's figure it out. How do we say this? Yes, we'd say eight o'clock. So for this time, it's showing eight o'clock. All right, my friends, I'm gonna to switch to my analog clock so you can actually see it. We'll try a couple more and then we'll come back and talk about time to the half hour. All right, my friends, what time is shown on this clock? Remember, look at the minute hand first. Is it pointing at the 12 or the six? And then figure out where the hour hand's pointing. If you said six o'clock, you are correct. 
What time is the clock showing now? If you said three o'clock, you were correct. If you said three o'clock, you are correct. Let's try one more. All right, my friends, read this clock. What time do you see? If you said four o'clock, you've got it. All right, my friends, now let's talk about half past or 30 on reading on an analog clock. What that means is this minute hand has gone all the way around from the 12 and is now pointing at the six. So if, if it started at the 12 and it went all the way around to the six, if you think of the clock as a circle, my friends, it's gone halfway around the circle. That's why we say half past, because it's gone halfway around the circle. And half of 60, there's 60 minutes in an hour, half of 60 is 30. All right, my friends, so that's why they say half past, because it's gone halfway around the circle and it's been half of an hour. Make sense? Kind of, sort of? I'll take it. All right, my friends, let's look at this one. So we know that our minute hand, our long one, our minute hand is no longer pointing at the 12. So we're not gonna say o'clock. If it's pointing at the six, we're gonna say half past or 30. So if it's half past, we've gotta figure out what it's half past. Now we're gonna look at the hour hand. And the hour hand's a short one. And we're gonna take our finger and push it out. And you see how my finger's going halfway between the two and the three? See how it's going? halfway between the two and the three, we're going to say half past two or 2.30. And if I was gonna write it, my friends, it would look like this, half past two or 2.30. And this double dot, the dot on top of the dot, we talked about it before, this is called a colon. Put it in your brain, you're gonna need to know it. So this clock is showing half past two or 2.30. Let's try another one. All right, my friends, I've put a new time on our clock. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Again, start with those two questions. First, is the minute hand pointing up at the 12 or is the minute hand pointing down at the six? Penny, what's the minute hand pointing at? Penny says the minute hand's pointing at the six. Penny, what does that mean? Penny says that means we have to say half past or 30. All right, my friends, so let's figure it out. It's half past something, because again, we've gone halfway around the circle if we started at 12. So half past, now we've got to look at the hour hand. Our second question is, what number is that hour hand pointing at, or which two numbers is that hour hand between? So here we go, my friends. Here's my hour hand, the short one's the hour hand. I'm gonna follow it along. See how it's going halfway in between the six and the seven? Because it's going halfway in between the six and the seven, we have to say the six. Remember, the clock goes this way. This is called clockwise. So it's, if it's half past, when we're going clockwise, we say the number we go past first. So if we're going clockwise, we pass the six before we get to the seven. So that means right here, right here, we're gonna say 6.30 or half past six. Here it is, my friends, in words and numbers half past six or 6.30. We're gonna try a few on the analog clock and then we'll come back. What time does this clock show? Make sure you notice that the minute hand is now pointing at the six. If you said half past seven or 7.30, you figured it out. Read this clock, what time is shown? If you said half past nine or 9.30, you are correct. What time is shown on the clock now? If you said half past one or 1.30, you've got this figured out. Nice job. All right, my friends, let's check in before we switch to paper. How are we feeling about this? Are we feeling good? Give me a thumbs up if I've got it. Peasy peasy, Mrs. Amadimo, I've got this. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Thumbs to the side. It's our third lesson, Miss Amadimo. It's making a lot more sense, but I still have some questions. Thumbs down, mm, not so sure yet, but I'm trying and I'll do my best for you. All right, my friends. Now remember, don't get discouraged. 
This is one of those things, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Trust me, all of the adults you know had to learn it, and now it's easy peasy lemon squeezy for them. So you just have to be patient, all right? Let's switch to paper and see how we do. All right, my friends, we've switched to paper. Let's look over it. So it says, an hour has 60 minutes. We knew that. And then they show you that you're counting by fives as you go around the edge. Each number counts, you count by five. Let's do it together, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And then we goes to the next hour every time we pass the 12. All right, my friends, let's look at this clock right here. So first question, is the minute hand the long one pointing at the 12 or pointing at the six? Is it pointing at the 12 or pointing at the six? Yes, it is pointing at the 12. If it's pointing at the 12, what do we say? You're right. We're going to say o'clock. Now, if it's pointing at the 12, that means the hour hand, the short one, is going to point at the number we want. So I go to the hour hand. This is the short one. And you can see if I draw a little line, my friends, I go right through the 10, which means this clock shows 10 o'clock. Now, let's look at the one down here. A half hour has 30 minutes. We know that. It, see, you can see half the circle is filled in. It says, the clock shows half past 10. The minute hand has moved from the 12 to the 6. It has. Now, let's look at the clock and confirm that they're, what they're telling us is the truth. So, first question, what is the minute hand pointing at? The minute hand's the long one. It's it pointing at the 12 or is it pointing at the 6? Yes, my friends, it's pointing at the six. If it's pointing at the six, what do we say? We say half past. All right, my friends, if it's half past, when we go to the hour hand, it's gonna be between two numbers. So go to the hour hand and I can draw the line and I can see that it's halfway between the 10 and the 11. It's halfway between the 10 and the 11. And remember, how do I know which one to say? I start at the 12 and I go clockwise around my circle and whichever one I come to first is the one I say. So I'm gonna read this as 10.30 or half past 10. And down here they said it in a third way, 30 minutes after 10 o'clock. All of those are correct. Let's try a few more. All right, my friends, let's read the directions. Write the time. Read them with me. Write the time. All right, my friends, let's look at this clock. First question, what is the minute hand pointing at? Is it pointing at the 12 or the 6? You're right, my friends, it's pointing at the 6. If it's pointing at the 6, we're going to say half past or we're gonna say 30. So I know I need to draw my colon and my 30. Now I've gotta figure out what hour it is. So I'm gonna to go to my hour hand, that's the short one. And I'm gonna draw a little line so I can see it. And what two numbers is it halfway in between? What two numbers is it halfway in between? Penny, what two numbers is it halfway in between? It is, it's halfway between the 11 and the 12. So if it's halfway between the 11 and the 12, one of these numbers is going to be my answer. So I start at the 12 and I go clockwise around my circle and whatever number I come to first is the number I'm gonna say and I come to the 11 first. So my friends, I read this as half past 11 or 11.30. Let's try the next one. All right, my friends, question one. It's always the same two questions. Question one. What is the minute hand pointing at? The minute hand's the long one. Is it pointing up at the 12 or is it pointing down at the six? Yes, it's pointing down at the six. So that means I'm gonna say half past or I'm gonna say 30. So I'm gonna write my colon and my 30 in. Now I've gotta figure out half past what? So my friends, I'm looking at my hour hand. The short one's the hour hand. I'm gonna draw my line in and I'm gonna see what time I get. So if I start at the 12, if I moved clockwise, what number did I start on? I started on the 12. So that's really the first number I start, the first number I landed on. So I'm gonna say it is 12.30 or half past 12. 
Let's do this third one. All right, my friends, same two questions. What is the minute hand the long one pointing at? Yes, it's pointing at the 12. So if it's pointing at the 12, we're gonna say o'clock. And I'm gonna make my colon zero, zero. And then my friends, the nice part when it's pointing at the 12 is it's going to point exactly at the number for the hour. So the hour hand's a short one, and if I draw it straight, it goes right into that four. So this clock is showing four o'clock. All right, my friends, I'm gonna pivot the camera so you can see the whole page. I'd like it if you could pause the video and try it, and then unpause it and see how you did. How did you do with the top six problems, my friends? How did you do with the top six problems? I hope they were easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and if they're not, we're gonna practice this again tomorrow, so don't worry. Now, let's look at the bottom and go over those together. All right, my friends, listen while I read the directions. Circle your answer. Read it with me, circle your answer. Listen as I read it the first time. Sarah goes to the park when both the hour hand and the minute hand point to the 12. What time does Sarah go to the park? Read it with me. Sarah goes to the park when both the hour hand and the minute hand point to the 12. What time does Sarah go to the park? All right, my friends. Now, I'll show you a clock in just a second, but let's talk about it before we look at it. If the minute hand is pointing towards the 12, if the minute hand is pointing towards the 12, are we going to say o'clock or are we going to say 30? You're right, my friends. We're going to say o'clock. That means we can get rid of this one because if we're going to say o'clock, it's got to be, can't have the 30. Now, it says the hour hand and the minute hand point to the 12. If the hour hand is pointing to the 12, it shows us the time. So if it's pointing at the 12, does that show 1 o'clock? or 12 o'clock. You're right, my friends. It shows 12 o'clock. It shows 12 o'clock. All right, my friends. As you can see by my watch, when the minute hand and the hour hand both point at the 12, it is 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Now, let's look at number 11. I'll read it the first time. You read it with me the second. Mel goes to the park at three o'clock. He stays for two hours. What time does Mel leave the park? Read it with me. Mel goes to the park at three o'clock. He stays for two hours. What time does Mel leave the park? All right, my friends. So we actually have a bit of an addition problem. So he goes to the park at three o'clock. So we've got three o'clock and he stays for two hours. So we've gotta do basically three plus two. Now, for three plus two, what can I do if I don't know the sum of three plus two? Penny, what can I do if I don't know the sum of three plus two? Penny says I can draw a quick pick, so I'm gonna do that real fast. So I need three plus two, and when I put them together, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So three o'clock plus two more hours is gonna equal five o'clock. So not one o'clock, not three o'clock, five o'clock. Let's look at it on an actual clock. All right, my friends, let's look at what it looks like on my analog clock. So right now it's showing three o'clock. The hour hand is pointing at the three, and the minute hand, the long one, is pointing at the 12. So I've got to go through four. I've got to advance it two hours. So I'm going to have my minute hand go around until it gets back to the 12. That would be one hour, and we've got to go back around one more time. And that would be two hours. And as you can see from my clock, my friends, the minute hand's pointing at the 12, so we say o'clock, and the hour hand, the short one, is pointing at the five. So we read this as five o'clock. 
All right, my friends, I hope you're feeling better about telling time. We're gonna practice again tomorrow. By the way, this is Riley, if you haven't seen him before. But we'll be back tomorrow. I hope this video was useful. Bye.